So I just opened up my first hobby box of GPK bookworms and I wanted to share my favorite cards from the set. So I started off not great. I wasn't very impressed with a lot of the cards, but then things picked up real fast. So let's talk about what I think are some of the coolest artworks and themes of the cards. So first we got Reading Rainbow, which I was definitely a kid when Reading Rainbow was a thing. I think it's funny you got the little caterpillars who are, or butterflies who are also vomiting. You've got Bo barfing up a rainbow and then all the books surrounding him. Quality artwork and card. You have Storybook Bastion. I just like, I like the arts that are like one thing within itself, within itself. So you can see there's like a perpetual bastion right there. A zitty kitty. There's, they always have one with zits and pimples that just gross me out. And this is this is this set's card because it is just nasty. Obviously, cat in a hat, but popping just a nasty zit. It looks like it's water or something. I don't know what type of pus that looks like, but it's nasty. Red eyed robin. So this one I thought was pretty cool. Just got the arrow, he shot his own eyes out through. Just a nice cartoony depiction of Robin. And I thought it was a pretty cool artwork and a good idea for a card. This, I don't really like the artwork, but the this is the only blue card out of all of the box that I opened. So I thought I would just include that. So I never watched or read Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Don't exactly know what that's about, but I know this is a reference to that. And obviously this is either toilet paper or something that has turd all over it. And he's holding a pizza toilet roll. I think that's a pretty cool card. I like it. Good idea. Good execution. Then we've got Green Eggs and Ham. Spammed Sam. Just a quality, obviously, Dr. Seuss spin-off right there. I, Robbie. So something like I, Robot, which I watched as a movie. I didn't know it was a book, but probably was. And I like how it says I, Human. Like, obviously, a parody of that. I, Sick as a Mo. I don't know what that really means on the spine of the book, but kind of a cool card. Probably of the ones I'm going to list, that is my least favorite. But still, it you know... It's kind of cool. Will Vomit. I like this one just because it's so grotesque. You got the skull, and I mean, it's barfing up eyeballs and dentures and fish and apples, ice cream, or I don't even know what. Was that a heart? I don't know. Organs. It's just a cool card. I like it. Bookmark. So this is one that was featured right on the box right there. And I think it's pretty cool. Obviously, like a little bookworm, and he got smashed. I think that's a quality artwork, well executed, and a really good name to go along with it. El Dante. I was thinking of El Dente, like, uh, which I'm assuming, obviously, he's cooking. That is the theme. I don't know how that really deals with uh, books. I guess Dante's Inferno, maybe. That's cool artwork, though. I mean, that's pretty dope. Uh, big fan of that. Good artwork. One I will definitely remember and will go down as one of my favorites in this entire set. Terran Terry thought it was funny just using his books to wipe his butt. Good, funny artwork. Page Holder. This is another one I thought was really well executed. A good play on words. A good artwork. <laughs> it's just, it's funny. Like, it is a good, a very quality, high quality artwork. Well done. That is 2A. Then, of course, we're going to have some Winnie the Pooh. And we've got Winnie the Pooper. Good artwork. I mean, there are some things you really need to go after. Just Winnie the Pooh just lends itself to so many quality jokes. And they did really well. I like the balloons covering Garbage Pail Kids. I like that there's just three steaming piles of Duke on Tigger's, Eeyore's, and Piglet's face. I mean, it, it has everything. Uh, very good card. Definitely one of my favorites. Uh, just in Time, you know, they've used this pun before. But I think it's pretty quality. And I like that artwork in space, time, continuum. Cool artwork. Uh, thing one, I like this, that's pretty funny. 
is obviously the play on thing one, and I thought that was really neat. And then in general, just yeah, obviously he ate his little brother and kind of a cool artwork. So I'm a big fan of Adam Bomb. My name is Adam. So I've got to give a shout out to all Adam cards. We got Adam Book. And he's blowing up all of the other Garbage Pail kids. Really cool. It's nice artwork. And I had to give him a shout out. Coloring Brook. I like this one. I like how just all the crayons are coming out of every orifice. A snot. A nasty, disgusting card. Good artwork. Adam Apple, another Adam-themed card, but I think it's pretty funny. He's got an apple stuck in his throat. Simple, but effective. Watching Hugh. I honestly don't know where this is from or what the reference is, but for some reason I really like this artwork. It's, it's one of the ones that look more like a sketch. Like, it's not overly animated. There's not too much extra art like they just sat down pen and paper sketched out on a, a napkin while they're having dinner translated it to a card that's what i like about it i like the artwork grim jim obviously grim's fairy tales and then the throwback to jim big fan i like this card i like the throwback it's a good idea well executed crispy calvin again calvin and hobbs real good i like the artwork the chaos the fright and then, of course, playing off the famous comic. Well done. This, I got one uh, autograph card from a Joe Simcoe. Very cool. I mean, to be honest, I the artwork's fine. I don't really understand what the reference is. But, obviously, anytime you get an autograph card is dope. So, that is definitely one of my favorites in the box. Another is Pooting Porter. I'm a big fan of, I liked Captain Underpants as a kid, and this, he's just shooting off into space with his fart. That's funny. I mean, that is just high quality humor, potty humor, well done. A Mad Max, I just thought it was funny that he stepped in a pile of crap. I know this is a book. I don't know. I'm assuming Max is a character. I don't really know, but I know it's a book, a reference. I just like he stepped in poop. Goosebump Ben, I was a big fan of Goosebumps, and, or Goosebump as a kid, and, uh, gosh, the, is it Goosebumps? Goose, that doesn't sound right, no, what, is it? I don't even freaking remember what the books are called now, is it Goosebumps? Yeah, it's Goosebumps, so, yeah, real good, I like, like the artwork, kind of play on the ventriloquist. Uh, Saul Shank, so Saul Shank and Redemption, which again, I, I didn't know that was a book, but maybe. And the poster, I that's kind of pretty clever, a good. And then finally, Caterpillar Eaten, one of my favorite cards. I remember the Hungry Hungry Caterpillar going through the apple head. That's a good quality card, a very strong one to end off, end off on. So, yeah, thanks for watching. And I really, I like to say it started out slow, but ultimately, I mean, there was a good handful of cards that I got that I really enjoyed. I think they did well with the execution of the theme. And just a lot of the cards were really good. I enjoyed them. So let me know what you pull from your hobby boxes. Hope you enjoyed. Let me know what cards are your favorite. And we will see you in the next one.